Hello YouTube, welcome back to the garage. Uh, we're deep in preparation right now for Snowmageddon 2017. Uh, we're looking at at least a foot of snow, probably something close to a foot and a half to two feet plus. So, um, in case the power goes out, new generator here, um, newest toy in the the home gamer engineer arsenal here. Um, everything in this house is electric. I can't even flush a toilet technically without using electricity. We have a grinder pump, so um, if the power went out, we we need at least some electricity. Hopefully, this is enough to keep the whole house running and almost see no disruption in service. But trying to figure out how to get this hooked in to, to backfeed the entire house and backfeeding a panel obviously not a great answer but done all the time most important thing about backfeeding a panel make sure you shut the main breaker off so that you don't electrocute the uh, poor linemen as they're trying to fix the, the power um, but on top of that you need something like this um, it's a cord I made up on one end it plugs in to the generator I'll have an extension cord to, to spread this out even further on the other end that plugs into the dryer outlet and will allow me to back feed the entire house um, the dangerous part comes that if you're not very cognizant of what you've turned on and what you've turned off um, you potentially end up with these bare metal connectors just hanging out there with 220 volts of potential across them um, and just a gigawatt of power to you know electrocute fry take something off so somewhat dangerous um, but you have to use a lot, a lot of caution and you'll be fine um, actually you won't be fine I'll be fine you don't do this because you know I don't want my liability out there so anyway, lots of fun and games trying to figure out all the right pieces um, around here. Generators are pretty much sold out. I found one of three left at Sam's Club today. Um, I went to Lowe's for some parts, and uh, there were none to be had at Lowe's. Uh, one of the two Lowe's I went to had three uh, power transfer switches, and that was it in their generator section. Um, the second Lowe's I went to had one power transfer switch, and that was it. Um, I was lucky enough to find a pretty good extension cord, a 25-foot extension cord for this, that will allow this to sit hopefully under the deck or someplace, um, probably under the deck, and run while I then have uh, this hooked up inside. I like... Um, over planning things this is under planned I just picked this up spur of the moment today I've not done a dry run in fact this hasn't even started there's no oil in here it's full of gas but there's no oil in here yet so if the power does go out I'm gonna have to scramble a little um, my original plan was to hook this dryer piece up to an outlet I was gonna put over by the uh, the fuse box over there but uh, I've come to realize that this is the same connector that's on my dryer that's at a convenient point in the house where I could actually uh, just put the generator out the back of the house under the deck rather than if I put this just outside the garage it will be sitting in the driveway um, not so much worried about someone stealing it as I am uh, getting the thing covered in two feet of snow but uh, Hopefully, if the power does go out, it won't go out till the storm's almost over. And, uh, yeah, hopefully snow again isn't that bad. And then I just have a new toy. I don't even uh, know what I'd do with this much generator for the rest of the year if the power do doesn't go out. But uh, I have it now, and uh, I'll be able to use it. Maybe I'll take it out for block parties once in a while and just, uh, I don't know, fire something up. It's got 120 volt circuits as well, um, GFI rated, so I mean it would be okay for camping. It's going to be god awful loud, 
so probably not gonna take it camping too often um, and it won't even power a camper as is I mean I could get a step down transformer and go from two, 240 down to 120 um, and get 60 amps actually of 120 volts um, which would be more than enough to power the camper but the 20 out amp outlets won't power the camper up so a um, little bit of an issue there if I get a camper I'll probably do something interesting inside to break out um, break out the uh, the power so I can bring this thing along and use it to power the air conditioner if needed um, sometimes campsites in the summer when everyone's got their air conditioning on they get brownouts because everybody's got their air conditioning on but anyway I've rambled on long enough for one night um, just want to show off the most dangerous extension cord I've ever made um, and uh, hopefully I don't have to use it but anyway um, be safe out there in the snow and uh, I'll talk to you later bye